Hi guys, Ashley here and I'm going to be taking you through my bullet journal. Now I have seen that bullet journals are really trending lately and I wanted to make a twist on the typical bullet journal and make this a Christian bullet journal. If you don't know what a bullet journal is, it's pretty much a journal that you can customize and make it anything you want. You can put anything you want in there. It's a way to organize things, to make to-do lists. It could be a sketchbook, a notebook, a diary. Um, so it's really customizable to what you want. So the first page in my journal is just a Bible verse that says, commit your way to the Lord. I wanted this to be the first page so that I could always have a reminder to always commit everything I do to the Lord. I just want to thank Arteza for sending us these beautiful pens in the mail. They sent us the fine liner pens, which I noticed are really good for calligraphy, and then the real brush pens, which are so fun to use for artsy designs, and I just love how they worked. I'll have them linked down below. So the first section in my bullet journal is just the month that I'm on. So I'm currently on March in my life. Then I wanted to quickly add a calendar, just a simple, easy one. Um, so that I could see my month in a glance. Next, I just have the week that I am on. Um, I wanted to make just like kind of like a weekly section so that I could write down daily things that I was thankful for in the day or things that happened and reflect on the day um, and then also write down daily the verse that I'm trying to memorize and also write down um, my Bible reading like what was my summary and what I got out of my Bible reading. The next section is thankfulness. So in this section, I would write down anything that I was thankful for in the month of March. And this section is very important because I want to always be giving thanks in every season of my life. The next section is Bible memorization. Now, I kind of made it my goal to memorize two Bible verses in a month, and I used to have memorizing four in a month, but I kind of failed at it, so now I'm going to try to do two, but it's important to write it down, especially if you want to memorize it, so I have it in this section of my bullet journal. So the next section is goals and it's actually like spiritual goals. So how do you want to grow spiritually in this next month? Like I said, it's super important to be writing down your goals if you actually want to accomplish them. For example, one of my goals would be I want to memorize two Bible verses in a month. So I would write that down and then by the end of the month, hopefully I'll be able to check off the, the yes for was the goal accomplished. The next section I have is prayer requests. Now, I know I have a prayer journal, but I like having the prayer request section in my bullet journal because I get a lot of prayer requests and it's just nice to have them all in this one area to be able to pray for them and not forget. The next section I have is what is God teaching me? So what are the lessons I am learning this month? It's important again to be making sure that you're learning from your mistakes and you are reflecting on what you're doing in life and how what God is teaching you in the season of life that you're in. 
And so I just find it nice to be able to write it down. The next section I have is the Bible reading plan. So right now I'm actually trying to read through my entire Bible. And so on this page, I just wrote out Genesis through Revelation because I'm reading through the entire Bible and I just found it nice to have it organized in here so that I could cross off when I was done reading the verse or the book and then I put on this side the Bible verse Psalm 63 I thirst for you um, that Bible verse and then some cute little cactuses So next is actually very similar to the Bible reading schedule one, but this one is daily. So on here I have already printed out my Bible reading plan. And so what I did was I just cut it out and I glued it into my bullet journal. And then every day that I do my Bible reading, I can cross it off. All right, guys, and my next section for Bible reading is a guide. So when I read my Bible, I like to highlight and put in sticky notes and um, tabs. And so in here is just a little guide. So like yellow tab is fear of the Lord. Um, actually, orange tab is fear of the Lord. Yellow is fix your eyes on Jesus. And so I just have it organized in my bullet journal so that I know what is what when it comes to Bible reading. I'm still planning on adding more tabs, but I just started reading through my Bible again, so I'm excited to add more to this section. And the last section I have is inspiration. Now I decided to do this because I read a lot of Christian books and I end up finding a lot of cute quotes that inspire me so much or even like Bible verses. And I wanted an area in my journal where I could just compile all of those and have a page that I can be inspired by. So that is it for my bullet journal. I hope this inspired you guys. I just want to remind you guys to check out Arteza. Um, they have amazing art products. I'll have them linked down below. And I also have a coupon code for you guys as well. So definitely check out Arteza.